What's up, everybody? I'm finally going to take some time to sit down and do a little bit in this journal. I've been messing around with some things at night. I'm not going to lie, I've been playing. I took a tape measure, the one I used on the closure. Well, no, that was white. These are blue and yellow. And I cut them up glued them onto some cardboard pieces and most of them have I put eyelets on them so that I can let's see put a little um, bulb pin on and attach it to my journal for a little dingle dangle. I love that word. So that's what I've been doing. I put an eye hook on this, glued it shut, and I think I'll find a way to attach that to hang down longer. But yeah, I made a bunch of these up. Actually, I like this one. So we'll do that. I made a uh, tassel. For it. That's kind of fun. But maybe that might be more fun at that end. Well, anyway, we'll do it for this way for now. So I found, um, I went through my stash and found this old, I paid 50 cents for it, a manual of family sewing machine singer. Uh, See if I can find a date. Copyright 1914 and 1926. So this is 1926. The Singer Manufacturing Company, all rights reserved. Pretty cool book. So I thought I could probably get some cool pictures out of here for ephemera. Actually, that would make a fun journal just like this. But I will um, I'll look at the sewing machines used to be so beautiful with all that painting. Gold. Remember those? It's probably dark in here. I need to go to bed. I've been cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. So I'm going to take some stuff out of that for this. And here's the tassel I made. I'm having trouble figuring out how to attach it because I like them full. So what I did was I took a whole bunch of uh, strips of all different kinds of ribbons and um, fun yarns and trims, lace. I wrapped, uh, well, I half knotted, I did half knots with embroider floss in the middle folded it over, and then wrapped it with some baker's twine to get my loop. I've done it a lot of different ways. I've done it with wire, but I wanted kind of wanted this embroidery thread to be on there. So then I've had to put it on this because it's big. Well, I can't get it to hang right. So I'm going to have to uh, use a bulb pin. Let's do blue. Um... No, I don't want blue. So I think what I'm going to have to do is put the bulb pin on and attach it this way. I don't know. That might, oh, maybe I'll use the chain. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay. There we go. So then I can add some beads and stuff to this piece of chain. This can be trimmed off a little bit. It's pretty long. I'm probably totally off camera. So there's the tassel. Oh, that might not be too bad. Yeah, we'll leave it. And I've got one of these. You can grunge that up a little bit. Actually, what's this? I'll just leave it. 
I could stamp it. Let's see. I could put on it for a stamp. Don't miss it. What we do? For a stamp. Maybe a little bird. I'll put a little stamp on it. I'll probably run it. It's worth a try. Might be kind of hard to reach in all that metal. Oh, it's hot today. Hot, hot, hot. It's supposed to rain tonight. Let's see. Looks like Polly. I think it's a flower. Yes, that'll work. So I'm going to add, maybe I'll add this to the chain with a bulb pin. I love these little things. So I'll add that to the chain and then, let's see. We'll add, how about a yellow piece of, now why did I put that back? There. We'll add one of these. I'll just put that right on that so it can hang a little longer. Cute. No, let's put it at the bottom. Change my mind. I like to change my mind. No rules, right? There. That'll be cute. Okay. Then I was going to do this. I might wrap. What have I got? I might wrap something on there like this. Little scrap. See if it'll tear right for me. Ooh. Yes. Actually, you know what I should do? Change my mind. Let's put some baker's twine on it. That would be cute. Cute, cute, cute. Where is the end? There it is. So, what's going on? I'm going to have a garage sale. Memorial weekend to get rid of some of my stuff. I have too much stuff. Not not my craft stuff. But I do have about 50 wood signs. I would say 50. I could safely say 50 wood signs from when I was in the sign business. Somebody would order one and I would... Oops. It's not how that goes. I would make two or three... And stick them away but then I never uh, did anything with them I have it's it's ridiculous and I have some antique furniture that I want to get rid of I need to dance I'm into this I'm, I'm not into it I need to get into it I want to get into this minimalist stuff that's a joke 
for me, but I kind of like to try. I have a couple of antique cabinets and oh, just stuff, too much stuff. Wood bobbins from the woolen mills. I think I've got like 30 of them because I collected them at one time. We have an old woolen mill here in Iowa, the Amana Colonies woolen mills. For anybody that's not from Iowa. And you can go there and watch them operate, buy their blankets, and it's a historical place. Let's see, how am I going to attach this? Should I put a piece of this? Where is that at? Now, how did I lose that already? Aha! See it? Well, that wasn't fun. Hello, I'm alive. Guess what I tripped over? A box of journals. <laughs> oh, my word. Let's see, how are we going to do this? I'm alive! I'm alive! All right, I'm gonna try to, boy, that was tricky. Came out of that unscathed. All right, let's see, how are we gonna get this in there? Yes, folks, this is my comedy hour. <laughs> the first crafter to fall <laughs> while she's filming. Oh my God. What a klutz. See if we can get that in there. There we go. I think maybe I can tie a knot. I have no idea what I'm doing. I know I can fall down and still get up. <laughs> Raise your hand if you've ever done that. All right. I think that'll work. I don't know what I'm doing. We're just guessing here. But I don't like the width of this. So this is going to take a little split here. Hi, kitty. Let's see. Wait, let me think this through. Get this. Get this. Hi, baby. What that one? Hi, my kitty. Apple guy. Oh, you're so pretty, honey. My cat. Come to visit? Okay. How are we going to hang this? That might just be too big and bulky. I don't know about this. I don't know. You can always take it off. God, I almost died on camera, guys. I could have died. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. I think I'll tie a knot underneath. Let's see. I want it to be about right there. Then I'll take it and tie it on the top side. Let's see. You know what? If I tie it in a over and over, like this and like this, then it can be more dangly strings. Let's see how that looks. Oh God, that's a lot to hang. Kind of cute though. Kind of cute. Then I've got this, which I could attach with a bulb pin to the chain. You know what? If it's too much, we can always take it off. Don't know till we do it. What's going on here? Behave. There we go.
Okay, that's probably way out of hand. Actually, I kind of like it. I don't know. Well, we'll leave it for now. So, now to the inside. How did you get this out of my way? I hope I can't do that. I forgot I hooked it. So, this is where I was so far. I put this in. This is uh, a journal from Amy at Crafty Cat. And then I'm filling it. It's empty. Well, it's not empty. I'm starting to fill it with things from her that have been gifted. So, um, I've got all this stuff kind of saved. I made a couple of pockets one night before I even got this journal. I was just sitting and making them out of this sewing machine book. So that would be, that's cute right there. Oh, look. Oh, you know what? How about if I do that? Let's do that. Cute, cute. Yeah, we'll do that. Two pockets on one page. I hate to lose that part though. Yeah, that'll be kind of cute. Or should I just do one? Hmm. Let me think. I do kind of like that. I'll do that. That's what I'm going to do. Let's see, where's my glue? All right, that's going to do just adorable so if I just go up the sides it can be a pocket actually a long pocket so I'd have a, a pocket here and a pocket here like that putting them in there for now so we've got that and that okay okay mm -hmm. now let's do this one there we go a little bit wider. I should have went along the bottom. Dang it. Let's do that real quick. Oh, there we go. Well, actually, that one would be cute. I have these. These came from a um, paper packet from Hobby Lobby, I'm sure. Thread, needles. Um, I'll rough those up a little bit. Use them for tags. Concert at the school tonight for two of my grandkids. Those bleachers are so uncomfortable. Let's see. That would go way behind. Symbol. That's cute. Maybe this in here. And then, oh, she's cute. Let's see, I'll save her. Let's do sewing. Oh, I'd hate to lose this. This would be a good belly band, actually. 
I'll come back to this. Well, heck, what we got in here? Let's just fold a page. Wind the bobbins evenly. How about page one? Actually, it's page five. Maybe we'll just use this. I'm going to grunge them up a little bit. They're already old. I can't believe what good shape this is in. Where did I find this? Um, where did we go? Oh, there was a place where people can sign. They have booths. I literally could not remember getting it. Yeah, that's where I got it. Okay. Will that tuck in? Actually, how about if I tuck that there? And this here. No, that's not going to work. There. I'm going to come back to that page. That's filled. This would be a pretty belly band. Let's see, what could I do at the end? I could put some lace on that. That's what I'll do. I'll trim it in some lace. Let's see. Careful not to trip again. Hi, kitty. Let's see, what should we use? Oh, my cat is under my feet. I need to just give up and go to bed. Let's use this one. What are you doing? Huh? Under my feet. Trips me. This might be really pretty. Let's see, how am I going to do this? Actually, I think I'll do that. Sometimes you just don't know till you start in. What a crazy night. I'm tripping over my cat. I'm tripping over my journals. Lord. Okay. So there's that. Better late than never, huh? That. Put this across here. Boy, this is old. Old, old, old. Oh, she doesn't show. Dog on it. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut this off. There. Now let's try it. What's a little more glue? There. That's a little better. So you can see her. Okay. Let's put some at the bottom.
one more soccer game the season's over saturday and going to those when i can i think i'll hook this down a little bit give you a little bit of stability There, there we go. So now we can stick some of this in there. Electric library table machines. Electric library table machines. To meet the demands of modern homes where every item of equipment must be ornamental as well as useful. Electric sewing machines may be had in handsome cabinets of, ex of grace graceful design, entirely concealing the machine when not in use and serving as a desk or table in any room. Well, well, well. Dual purpose. Gotta have it. It's not just a sewing machine, it's also a desk. She can sew your clothes and then sit down and pay your bills. There you go. Birth them babies. Cook that meal. Okay, Linda, calm down. Okay, let's put that in there. Let's trim it up a little. I'm going to trim this a little. It's a hair too wide. Squeaky scissors, they're German. And I've had them for years. They're very expensive scissors. I don't know anybody that sharpens scissors or I'd take them in. I have two pairs of them. There, let's try that. I kind of wish that's as crooked as can be. What the heck? Yeah, that sewing machine doesn't show. There. I should sew some lace on that. Glue it. I'm not sewing tonight. I'm not sewing. That's cute. Let's do that. No, that's not. That's enough. Talk to myself out of it. Okay. What have we got? One more page. Do I have everything out of here? Yep. I do. <sighs> One more page. I have something else I want to work on that I'm kind of excited about. Actually, that I might start tomorrow. I'm gonna do that that's cute put that lace on there with the little hearts isn't that pretty cut that right there um i have three or four of this one journal almost done well not almost done kind of almost done there's like each one is in a different stage of doneness <laughs> one's not even really started one's pretty well on its way one or two of them but um 
the lady that I watched make them, well, I didn't watch, she didn't do a tutorial. She just did a flip through and she's got a Facebook group. Here I am talking about it there. That's pretty. There, that's cute. That's so cute. Let's see. I wonder if I should put that on the other side. Kind of cute. I think I will. Talking with a pin in my mouth. Um, she has a Facebook group. Very, 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 very sweet lady from Indiana. And um, she made this journal and I'm like, oh my God, I've never seen anything so grungy in all my life. It's just, I'm, I'm going to get one out and show you. I gave one, I made one and gave it to a family member. A very prayerful, sweet cousin. And... I made like four at one time and then just completed one hers. I'm done for the night. I want to show this now that I'm sitting here talking about it. So let's tie this baby up and see what we've got. Oh, that's cute. Okay. going on here what is going on there we go all right let's see what we've done there we go there's that I think that's kind of cute. I'll add more. Okay. I have to show you this. Let's see. They're in bags. Because they're in bags. I did these like a year ago. It's been, a, oh, it's been at least a year. called, well, she called it Grandma's Prayer Journal, her prayer book, Grandma's Prayer Book. Her name is Kay Comer. I'm just going to go through real quick. Uh, from Indiana, she's on Facebook. She's got, um, well, let me see. I have... Kay Comer, Grandma's, oh, what's the name of her group? Grandma's Prayer Group. Grandma's Journal. I can't think of what she's called. I'm blank. I'll have to find that. Anyway, she's on YouTube, Kay Comer, C-O-M-E-R. So here's my one, two, three, all in certain stages. And then the fourth one, and I gave one away. This is the fourth one. And you can see there's nothing to it yet. They're made with black construction paper. So on the front, she put, um, I put, I sewed some buttons on a piece of ripped, just cotton, cotton sheet, I think it was. I don't know what it was. Just cotton, just a cotton cloth. And... She's got, she had the Holy Bible on the front with old hands and sheet music in the back. And then she just completely packed it full of, she put a church on the inside. So I had to find that image. The pages are just torn, cruddy, rusty, gross, dirty, well-loved. You know, your grandma just cried tears over this book put some Bible verses in. I thought it was the most precious book I'd ever seen. I see I've done a few things. Everything's just torn. You can 
let's see, torn pages, pieces of old quilt. I did, she didn't do this, I did. I don't think she did. She used these images. Um, I think they're called, is it called Breaking Bread or Grace? The grandma and the grandpa praying at the meal at the table. So I just, here's what she did. Her husband, she said, took the construction paper out to the garage and ran the sander on it. But I just tore it and burned it and stained it and scratched it and <laughs> tripped over it probably. Made a little, you know, that's just that image. Everybody knows that image. The Lord's Prayer, and I just sewed some lace and left some wonky threads. But this is, you know, I need to get this finished and put in a pocket. I do have a pocket here in the back. That's all I've, a piece of doily. And then a paper clip with some lace. That's all I've done to this one. So that one's not gone very far yet. This one, in fact, I think tomorrow I'll work on it, work on one and make a whole different video. But I, again, sewed the buttons on this, tied a dot to make, you know, get my string longer than, longer than long. And stitched this. This is just construction paper wore holes in it sanded it down roughed it up um, folded over a doily glued it on sheet music an old velvet button praying hands with a bible and this page is thick because so i've got an old quilt stuck in here eyelet zigzagged the church on it's very brittle some creepy cloth. She calls it creepy cloth. I think that's funny. Piece of a doily. Um, is that hooked down? Yeah, it's all hooked. Nope, that's not. Lord's Prayer. One of those Hobby Lobby flowers. Some buttons. Some burlap. Pieces of lace. Quilt with buttons. Just stuff stuck everywhere. I found the New Testament. And um, picture, an image, obviously. And I printed it. And I made a little, a little writing space. Very grungy. And then I stuck a safety pin on there. This is a poem called Planting. Two old people work side by side. She wears a hat. The old man boasts, no hair at all. She moves and he kneels. He digs and she nods a while, nods while he speaks to the seed. She ardently covers row by row. They rise and bend over their garden on earth. Sunflowers will bloom toward late summer. The other one I did that was for my relative, it was for my, well, her grandpa, which was my husband's grandpa. And they had always planted potatoes like by the acre. So I did that whole thing about, you know, their way of life and her grandpa. Here's the um, second little book I made with Grace. What is that? Was it called Breaking Bread or Grace? Or um, I can't remember. So that's that one with the Bible on the back. Piece of torn journaling page. Little Old Testament just glued on. This I found in an old magazine. It's the Depression Era Sock Doll. Shows how to make it. So what I did was I ran it off, ran off a copy, tore it up, made it all in really bad shape, and then I um, put Mod Podge over it to keep it from falling apart. That's the directions. So there's that. I made a little quilt pocket. A little notebook. With torn pages. I don't even remember what's in here. I haven't looked at it. What's it say? Memory Lane. A little sticker I made. 
pages. I made a little vellum envelope. Aw, now I'm excited to work on this again. Then I tore this out of a Bible, a Bible, a dictionary. Bless, blessed, blessed to make holy. What, baby? So that's a little short page with a piece of a quilt and lace. And then here's the inside cover with cardboard and a little tag with a piece of quilt. Little girl, it says, own your dreams. But I need to, um, so there's that one. And here's the third one or the fourth one. I've lost count. But I have, um, where's those books? I have a couple books. I probably fell on them. I'm right? tripping like a fool. Where did they go? Okay, I need to go to bed. I've lost the books and I've lost my mind. I have a couple of um, spiritual books I was going to tear some poems out of. Oh my word. Bedtime, guys. This is just stupid. Okay. I do need to get to bed. I have to go work in the morning and I'm, I'm scanning my whole desk here for those books. This is just crazy. I just had them. Okay. Let's, uh, here they are. Okay. Found them. Bible promise book. Good Lord. Humility. There's just different sections, but there's got to be some good things in here that I could put in there and grunge all up. Cut little, little, um, you know, words. Here it is. Junk journals from Grandma with Love, Kay Comer. That's um, the name of her Facebook page. Junk journals from Grandma with Love. It's a fun little um, Facebook group. 35 cents I paid for this little thing. So, um, the wisdom of the heart. Celebration of timeless lessons about love. But... There's some good things in here. Life is an exercise in forgiveness. That would be a cute little tag. It's this one. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. It'll make a nice little book for somebody that likes um, spiritual things. So those are where I'm gonna go scouring through tomorrow. Make some tags. And work on these books. So, Kay, I'm going to do a little um, work on this while I'm filming. But not tonight. I'm tripping and falling and dropping and I need to go to bed. <laughs> good night, everybody. Have a good tomorrow. Thank you.